Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to X-Pines TV. My name is Lonnie Reese. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, March 8th, 2023. Now let's take a nice and relaxing brain break. First, stretch your arms up and out as high and as far as you can and breathe in the fresh air. As if you've just come out of your cave and stepped out to feel the warmth of the spring sun. As you breathe out, you're going to growl and make bear claws with your hands. <sighs> that was so calming. Now let's see what happened today in history with Nia. Thank you, Melanie. Hey, Patriots. In today's history on March 8th, 1936, the first stock car race was held in Daytona Beach, Florida. Stock car racing is a form of automobile racing run on oval tracks. The race went for 72 laps and cars were going up to 200 miles per hour. This race started the well-known NASCAR race called the Daytona 500. The Daytona 1936 race is now held at the Charlotte Fairgrounds Speedway. Wow, these races sound really fun. Would you join a race? I know I would. Now let's see what's on today's lunch with Hadassah. Thank you, Nia. Today's lunch is chicken nugget, dinner roll, turkey ham sandwich, green beans, waffle fries, diced pears, and tomorrow's breakfast is French toast sticks, syrup cup, graham crackers, fresh orange, 100% apple juice, sausage breakfast pizza, fresh apple, assorted cereal, and your choice of milk. Students, please keep in mind lunch can change at any time, and to always bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Hadassah. Scholars, this quarter's instructional software challenge is coming to an end soon. Make sure to look at the flyer to see the requirements. It's possible, so let's make it happen. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. It's important to make sure your phone is shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And also, don't forget you're not allowed to chew gum in school. Make sure to spit it out before you enter the building. Grades 6 through 8, let's get in the game on March 16th by going to this fun event. There will be games, sports, and more fun. Make sure to give $5 to your teacher and no referrals before the event to go. I can't wait for the next family night on March 15th from 6 to 8 p.m. It's going to be on Off the Wall, so prepare to have fun and check the flyer for some more details. It's in a week, so I'm so excited. Students, the Pages store is open every morning. Tomorrow is 7th and 8th graders turn to go. Don't forget your tickets. Now let's see what the weather's looking like today with Jaisleen. Thank you, Melanie. Today's weather is expected to be 87 degrees Fahrenheit with partly cloudy skies. Let's enjoy the mild weather. In other weather news, check out the amazing sight. The mesmerizing cloud formation you're seeing is hovering over Mount Alpo, a dormant volcano in the Philippines. This type of cloud is called a lenticular cloud. Lenticular clouds form when a stable moist air flows over a mountain creating a series of oscillating waves. Ma'apu is already one of the Philippines' most scenic spots. This cloud just adds to the beauty. Now let's go to Alexander for birthdays. Thank you, Jesleen. Today's birthday boys and girls are Zayden Ali, Christian Berrios, and Haley Banks. Happy birthday. Let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Alexander. Patriots, here are your pet's expectations. You represent, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school, environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Stone, Ms. Greg, Ms. Carter, and Ms. Sands. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was, what is the official nickname of Texas? The correct answer was, the Lone Star State. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily Challenge. Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance.gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. When does it be announced on the next morning announcements? 
Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you a wonderful Wednesday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day.